How about you shut your mouth? <laughs> oh, 42 degrees, so pretty cool one today. Oh, it's getting about that time where it's not that enjoyable to be outside. But it's the time where I start planning my departure. I'd say realistically, I've got about four weeks left here until the travels begin once again. It is gonna be a good summer. It's gonna be a different one. I'm not going to go and fly to Ibiza and stay there all summer. I've done that two years in a row and I think we need a bit of a change this year, to be honest. And now that the world is opening up, traveling is much less of a ball lake. It has provided me with an opportunity to actually go and see some interesting things. So there will be a lot of enjoyable content this summer where I'm going to new places, experiencing new things and sharing it all with you guys. Yeah. Yes, hi, it's you. Hello. Hello. So, just a nurse. This is up there with one of my all time favorite healthy spots to go to in Dubai. Like, everything just tastes ridiculous. And as you can see, there's absolutely nobody here, no music playing, because we are right in the middle of Ramadan. So, that's actually one of the perks this time of the year. Like, the gyms are empty, restaurants, cafes are empty. I'm just gonna decide what I'm gonna eat right now. Look at this menu. You can't beat a menu which has the pictures of everything on it. That's just exactly the way it should be for everything. That is particularly naughty, some of these wraps. Little breakfast wrap. The two things I would usually go for, the salmon bowl, that's so good. Especially when you have it with coconut rice. I guess this one's a little bit of a naughtier option. There it is. That is friggin' unbelievable. Mm. Clean cashew chicken. Poof. I can't choose which one's better. <laughs> that is literally what I'd look like if I didn't have a hair transplant. God. It's mad how many people have been asking for a hair transplant update. It's like, well, this is my hair. <laughs> That's the update. <laughs> Everything's going good. Yeah, it's weird seeing older videos. What, when I had a really bad hairline? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Definitely a worthwhile investment. Helped me look at least five Maybe even 10 years younger. But yeah, still going good. Don't need a top up yet. I'm taking naught point, well, half a pill of finasteride a day. A pill of finasteride is one milligram. I take half of that every day. No sides, maybe a little dull ball ache every now and then. <laughs> like I'm being serious, that's it. All good in the uh, bedroom department. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mike, stop texting girls. Hey, I'm a one girl man. Right, so let's swap, because I've changed my mind. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous of that, to be honest. But I'm trying to get more, more greens into my life. And this will, no doubt, do the job. We've got broccoli here, we've got avocado, edamame, let, well, some kind of leafy green here. Some sweet potato. Obviously got 160 grams of chicken. It's, it's definitely a filling and satisfying one. And some quinoa. We've got some peppers, cabbage, avocado, Salmon, coconut rice. The coconut rice is a game changer. Mm. I should probably teach myself how to cook that. Oh, I'm feeling well and truly nourished after that. <laughs> that is 5,000% of my daily fiber intake. Oh, look. Hey, hey, hey. I, I recognize that sound. Bloody F type, that like. Bloody, bloody F type in Dubai. That's what I put the first one of it to my. Great taste, my man, great taste. Put my shades on, douse myself in. This is so goddamn pungent. If you know, you know. If you don't know, get to know. God, hypnotizing everybody with my scent. Should we get on with the title of this video? I think we should, it's enough faffing around. Anyway, it all starts with this picture. It's a pretty sick picture. Rob took it. It's me with the Burj Khalifa. Anyway, I put it on my story on Instagram, and then this guy replied saying, hey, I live in the Burj Khalifa. Would you like to have a tour of the Burj Khalifa around the apartment and show you guys what it's like? I was like, yeah, all right then. That could be pretty interesting. I've only ever been in the Burj Khalifa to just have a look at the top. And uh, I've been at a meal in the Armani restaurant once upon a time. I haven't actually had a sense of what it's like to go and have a look at one of the apartments. And I have a lot of questions for this guy. To, 
really understand what it's like to be a resident of the Burj Khalifa and if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. So we're gonna head over now and see what it's like to live in the world's tallest building. Looking pretty burgy. I was saying to Chris earlier, like sometimes it looks not that big and then sometimes it looks absolutely massive. Right now it looks absolutely massive. So anyway, it was a bit of an ordeal getting in here. They just don't let any random people come in here. You have to have a security code. You have to have the name and the apartment number of the person you're visiting. You even allocated a duration of how long you can stay for. Duration two hours. So yeah, you just can't rock up and walk around. Yeah, so literally just walked in through the hallway and they've got a supermarket here, which is quite convenient. With all the essentials. I'm just waiting for Ramen. He's the guy who's kindly invited me. You said there's, there's two gyms? Yep. Two gyms. Both the cardio rooms, yoga rooms. We need a bit of free weights. We've got um, pools on both floors. Yeah, the residents have access. Nice. floor. Tell the view already is way better from here. Oh, you're saying this is we're only just halfway. Not even, not even halfway. <laughs> The, the address beach resort, JBR, mm -hmm. that seems super high. That seems super high. But yeah. this just feels like. And this is exactly the same level as that. So we've basically just gone through this door, which leads to the mall. And all these people have come from the, uh, the Birch Cleaver tour. So now we're going through. This is the secret. This is the secret way to the top. So you just follow them for two, three minutes, you'll get to the mall. Nice. And you don't need to go outside. Yeah. That's, that's, straight to Waitrose, straight to Wilton. That's, that's very convenient for the summer time. Very. When yeah. it's boiling hot. Very. Yeah. You don't need to leave. So this is, this is the residence lounge. So all the residents have access to this lounge area. Which to be honest, if I lived here and I needed to do some work, imagine just doing some work there. One, two, three. Let's get your laptop out, do a bit of work, enjoy this view. It's with the residence card now. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has got a soaking foot. Armani restaurant. You can't just get to every point in this building with one card. You have your card for your apartment, which gets you to certain areas like the spa, the lounge, and the gym. Yes. But you can't go to any of the levels. No, so okay. restricted. Yeah. Unless you're a landlord that has the keys to every single level. Mm -hmm. Nice. Three years. Three years. Yeah. We moved in, in both together to this three years ago. Yeah. 
when we were both bachelors. <laughs> and uh, then, yeah, we were here for two years together and then you got married last year. So yeah, then I moved into the one bed. And you furnish all this yourself? Yeah. Well. It's custom made that sofa actually. And custom made table. That's a ping pong table. Is it? It yeah. was. It was. We took it off now. It's not married now, is it? Yeah. It's a genuine yeah. table. Oh, it's a genuine table. We used to be playing on that. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, we were playing on that like all day. Yeah. Like, table tennis. Because we were going to leave the Yeah, well, was that like during lockdown? Because you were you not allowed to go Could anywhere? It? He was in the UK. I was in England, thankfully. Yeah. That's actually a good And I was here yeah. on my own for four months. Like no, no outside, team. nothing. Yeah. Couldn't even go out to the car park or the garden. Oh. What are the other bedrooms for? Just the guest then? Well, yeah, this is the, the guest room here, which is actually going to be my study. Um, I could do it anyway. I've, I've done two years in JBR and I'm, I want to get a feel for what it's like downtown. So I don't know if I would be in like one of these buildings which faces the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Or actually be in the Burj Khalifa and face up. It's always a tricky, well... I'm, I'm surprised that like, this feels like this, it's like a small city. There's so much in the Burj Khalifa. This is actually going to be the bedroom. But we just haven't managed to sort the wardrobes and stuff out. Yeah. And then the other bedroom's on the other side. This one's going to be the master. The master. His wife's gonna see the footage and then she's yeah. like, yeah, I've like literally <laughs> given them no warning whatsoever and I've just walked into their pub. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to live on your own or with someone, this layout is ideal. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably the best layout. And then when you when you get higher up, you were saying that it just it's get more expensive and more No, I, I don't I think if you live here I've been living obviously for seven years and I think the lower you, if you live in the lower section it's better mm. because on a daily basis you're not switching lifts yeah, to go to the yeah. higher ones. So they're not any more expensive mm -hmm. um, and as you go up then it gets less space right in a way so yeah. there's less they can do. But the one bedrooms I think are quite good higher wall but I haven't seen any good two bedrooms. And it's alright like if you want friends and family coming around it's usually okay or was a bit of a pain nah, in the ass. It's been fine because some people like complain about it but I, I've never had a problem. Yeah. It's been smooth mm -hmm. all the way through and uh, yeah, you can't get a surprise visitor either. Is there any downsides of it? If you don't have your own private balcony then you can't open the windows or whatever. But I've got the same problem at my place. Like I have no balcony, no windows but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I, honestly I think um, the weather in Dubai is a bit funny right? Yeah. And so in the summer you're not, never going to open it and loads of people that you, who, who are going to visit might have a balcony just full of dust. Yeah. When I had a balcony when I first moved here I would, I would spend ages cleaning it. Literally one or two days later there was another <laughs> layer of dust <laughs> yes. and I was like what's yeah. the point? Yeah. So lots. Unless you're having a cleaner come and clean it every day. Yeah. And downsides. I say some, maybe the traffic in downtown can't be, can't be worse than JPR. Yeah, and marine and stuff. So, do you have a car? You don't need a car here, do you? Uh, uh, first couple of years that I lived here, I didn't have a car because mm -hmm. I was working just up the road. But now I started I was doing a project in Abu Dhabi, so I got a car, and then now I work in Dubai South, so mm. I have a car as well. But so I have, yeah, I've, I've had a car for the last four or five years. How, how much roughly would a two or three bed set you back? So you're looking in the region of like 200,000 plus probably just slightly more around, around that, 200,000 dirhams, yeah. I heard a rumour, I think this was probably like one or two years ago when they were saying all oh, the Virgin Fleet is like half empty, but I don't, that's nah. definitely not the case now. Nah, I mean, th I've been here for seven years, I've never seen it, I wish it was half empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I mean it's 800 apartments here so it's quite hard yeah. to fill and a lot of people buy the apartment and they don't necessarily need the rental income or anything, so that they're happy to leave it yeah, empty. Yeah, travel. Yeah. yeah, we've got friends that have apartments here that are just constantly empty and they use it just for the tennis courts, for example. Yeah, yeah. we've got a friend here who's got a villa on the palm with the family and stuff, but he's got an apartment here that he just uses. He's got two, rents one out, the other one is just for him in case he wants to pop through, yeah, play, that, play tennis. That's, that's the level I want to get to. <laughs> just have a couple, I have one here, one there. Yeah. <laughs> and how you One the girlfriend doesn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little taste of what it's like to live in the Burj Khalifa. Shout out to Ramin for giving me a tour and to his best pal as well for letting us see what a three bedroom apartment is like. Sorry about the GoPro footage, but I had to get on the GoPro because they are a little bit funny about filming in there. So we had to switch cameras. But all in all, that was a very good experience. It was interesting. I think overall, 
the apartments they're not, they're not like that amazing. I think ultimately what you're paying for is just the bragging rights to say that you live in the Burj Khalifa because it is pretty cool and it is extremely convenient. You don't even need a car when you live there. You can just walk around and get to most places. But I would say for me personally that I don't like the decor. It's a bit like it's dark. Like I don't know what that the, the, the dark woodeny vibe is all about but I'm not about that. I like a bright environment and I guess they're not exactly the most spacious. There is a limited amount of space which they have to kind of deal with so yeah you know pros and cons pros and cons but it's interesting i'm definitely tempted to live downtown at some point but where that would be i don't know and price points of you know i know some people would be like well how much does it cost to live there well it depends on like which angle it's facing is it a one bedroom is it a two bedroom is it a three bedrooms at a studio i know they also have a section which is devoted to the armani residents now i've had a look at those apartments online and they do look pretty cool like their service departments which are pre-furnished designed by the Armani Mandem and they look pretty cool so I didn't have a chance to have a look around them but all in all that was cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course if you want to have a little taster of what it's like to have a whoop band be in control of your sleep and your recovery and to optimize your performance get involved Use my code in the description. Join whoop.com forward slash Mike Thurston. See you in the next one.